Right, with us we have a Namibian uh, javelin thrower, Charlene Engelbrecht. Charlene, you've just come back from the Zone 6 Under 20 Youth Games in Lusaka. How did it go there? Oh, it was very, very nice. Um, Lusaka treated us so well and the people were very nice. And we were able to participate in nice circumstances. Um, so there I, I participated in discus and shot, but it was very, very nice. <laughs> And you did very well as well. Yeah, yeah. I got a. I threw my PB in um, discus after hard working <laughs> and a lot of stress. I threw the uh, 48.08, which was which were my PB and shot, but didn't go as expected. But I th I also did well there. Yeah. Medal. Yeah, I won a silver in discus and a bronze in shot put. That's great. And now you're competing here at the Fasu Games and you've just completed your um, discus. How was that? The discus was nice. The wind was near to perfect. Um, I threw a 47 now, not quite sure of the exact distance, but it was very, very nice, yeah. Great. Charlene, tell us about your plans for next year. Um, next year's World Student Games. I'm gonna now go back to Pretoria and do some touch-ups on my technique, make corrections, and then I'm gonna practice for that. I'm gonna work towards World, world Students for this for 2013, yeah. Right, and you also now am um, still quite young. Um, have, will you like to go to the world champs um, further on? What would you still like to achieve? Um, I'm, we are now, next year, 2013, going to start with a new program to work towards 2016 for Olympic Games. And yeah, I have to throw 58 there for discus. Um, it's still 10 meters to go, but it's also four years to go, so it's possible to do. So I'm working, I'm going to do everything in between, going to work for that, but I'm going to work towards a qualifying for Olympic Games. <laughs> Great. Charlene, and a message of um, support or hope for our young athletes coming through? Um, a friend once told me that um, hard work can be talent if talent doesn't work hard. And that's what I told a lot of people because a lot of people give up hope and they think they don't have talent. But in fact, work, hard work always beats talent if talent doesn't work hard. So yeah. <laughs>